Do you feel lost? I do. So you come to me and you say, Deborah, what can I do to feel better about myself and the world? And you know what I say? Love! It's real! It works! Go for it! Now, I'm not here as a priest or a guru or any sort of religious leader. I'm just someone who <laughs> likes to talk. And I have people coming to me and saying, Deborah, I'm in love with an alcoholic. What should I do? And I say, don't look to me for answers. Look to yourself. Find that source of unconditional love. Find that all-encompassing ultimate love. Surrender to that unending infinite love that will let you say, hey, fuck you! Get out of my house till you stop drinking! <laughs> Any questions? <laughs> With the bad perm. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm coming. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, it's oh. You. oh, my God. Oh, Deborah. Oh, God, Deborah. Oh, first, I just wanted to give you these little baby booties that I crocheted for your baby. I know you discourage gifts except for donations, but I just had to. Well, thank you. Now, what's up? Well, um, I just, I just broke up with my boyfriend. Well, we've all been there, haven't we? With my boyfriend? Spill, baby. Well, um, Josh and I lived together for, I'm sorry, this is hard. It's okay. For about four years, and then he lost his job, and then we just started really arguing all the time, and then he... He tried to hit me with the car. In my car, you know. Whoa. Man. But I still love him. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay, let me cook on this. It sounds to me like you've got a problem with everybody's favorite. Low self-esteem. Of course, I don't know you. Maybe you should have low self-esteem. I just really want a relationship. You want a relationship? Because you're afraid. It all goes back to mother, doesn't it? Did you love your mother? Um, yeah, I, yeah, I guess. I Don't did. lie to me. Okay. I'll call her. Right. Did she withhold? Well. Was there abuse? No, I don't. D Dig deep? Yes, definitely. Yes, yes. <laughs> Go see her. Okay. Tell her. Tell her. Mom, Mom. You were chilly. Yeah, chilly. You forgot my birthday. birthday. You beat me with a baseball bat. But I understand. I understand. I forgive. I forgive. I love you. I love you. And Mom, Mom. now you're old. Oh, God. You've got a plastic hip. <laughs> and I've got the bat! Right. Next! Oh. Oh. Yes! Yes! The homosexual. I can walk. But you can always walk. Shut up. Hey there! Hit me. Um, uh, Deborah, um, I think that sex is, is just about the best thing ever. <laughs> um, but I've met someone, and he's HIV positive, mm. and I'm about to self-destruct. Now, I'm a waiter. So I can't afford your cassettes or the mug or the calendar. Uh, do they mention this problem? They sure do. It's in my book, Chapter 10, Cheap Waiters. <laughs> no, 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 look, look. What you're talking about is evil. Am I right? Um, Why is there disease? Why was there a Hitler? Why are these acrylic? Here's the lowdown on evil. It is the absence of love. Ta-da! That's it. Case closed. Where you don't have love, illness makes a home. Wait, I'm sorry. Are you, are you saying that 
people get sick because they don't love enough or because people don't love them or it may sound simplistic it may sound cruel it may sound like i'm blaming people for their illness and maybe i am that's deborah yeah!